Today I'm going to show you how to use Antigua Designer, which is a template-based system uh, for creating invitations and other stationery. So this is really cool because you can send this to your clients. They can basically do the full design and then you can decide uh, how to print it or how to offer it to them as printed downloadable files. So well, let's go ahead and dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach people how to design wedding invitations and create profitable, successful stationary businesses. This is such a cool template system that is different than any of the other ones that I've seen out there. Um, and the customer service is really wonderful and there's a lot of capabilities here. So I want to show you how to walk through it and how it ends up at the end. I think that's where the big difference lies. So stay tuned. So you're going to have all your templates here that actually the team at Antigro creates for you. So they're going to put those in. I've also got an empty template so that people can upload their own things um, and you can create some uh, just really unique pieces with any of the artwork that you have. Um, the one thing is you'll want to make sure your artwork license covers template usage. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the about that at the end because I think if you're using this and you're going to do the printing for the clients, then it still falls under your traditional commercial use. If the clients are going to be doing the printing, then that might not, and you might not need to not be able to use all of the graphics that you have, just depending on the license that you've purchased. So I'm going to click into one of our templates and when your clients go here, you can create links so that they go to a specific template with all the different pieces. I only have a couple, uh, you know, main invitations, but you could make a link so that they go directly to just all of the fall flowers pieces for them to work on, um, or all of the invitations or a certain subset of the invitations, etc. Um, so I'm just going to click on this one here and then you have the ability to really edit pretty much anything. They can't edit the elements on it, uh, but they can edit the text so they can go up here and just change the names. So like this room says Gary Shank. That's my dad. <laughs> um, and then of course you can change the font if you want. Um, don't like that one. So let's go back to <laughs> uh, Montserrat, which is in the M's of course. There we go. Um, they can change the color of it. Again, I've designed this in a way that I think is most beautiful. So I'm not going to change too much of that, but the clients can, if they decide they want to do something different. Um, definitely like this coloration, maybe someone wants something that is a little bit more of a purple to match, you know, these colors, or maybe they want it to be kind of gold or orangey. Totally fine to do that. Um, something like this. Absolutely, you can type in a color code. You can choose from a bunch of options down here. Um, so you can change the colors. I have, uh, the team has uploaded my font to my system so people can use my font, but then they also have the selection of all these other lovely, beautiful fonts that you can use uh, that you have free license to. So let's just bring this down and then you can move things around, of course. So you wanna make sure um, everything kind of matches, but the client is really doing all of this work. So you might want to film like a little tutorial video for them or something like that, or give them an instruction download, but they really can do all of this on their own and they don't need you uh, to do any of the design work. And so I think that's where the magic of all of this comes in. Here we go. Oh, and then we'll want to change this one to match. We're looking for Sacramento and we can make it a little bit small. Okay, so again, if they just want to leave it as is, they can always just go up here and um, type in the new text. So that'll just refit the box, same font, same color, same size, everything there. But then if they do want to make the changes, they have the ability to do that. And so I think that's what's really powerful is you don't have to answer all these questions. Hey, can we change the font? Can we see five different fonts? Can we try out a different color for this? They can do all of that themselves, or they can just love your design as is, fill in their information and be ready to go. So there's a lot of different things they can do here. Um, they can also add other designs. So this will be the card. They'll be able to add the RSVP card, add the details card if they want, etc. So once they're done with their design, um, they can click 
confirm. And I love this part because it's going to remind them that they haven't changed any of the text. It might be okay if they haven't changed, like invite you to celebrate, but in this box, there's also the names. So they need to make sure they change the names. They need to make sure they change the date and the venue, something like this one. Maybe it's not a big deal if they haven't changed it. Um, but if they kind of click on these, it'll say, Hey, reminder, you didn't change any of this stuff. So I love that that's here. We're going to proceed despite the errors because we don't need to change those and confirm the design with errors. And then we can just confirm the designs. What we're going to do is put our name here. And then you can include a message here um, if something's up, if you have some questions, etc. cetera. Um, this is all from the client's point of view. So they can leave a message for you and you're going to confirm your designs. And then it'll just kind of redirect you wherever you want it to, but this is my website. <laughs> so then there will be another link that you have as a designer. And when you log in, this is what you'll see. And this one for 12, 22 at 8.50 a.m. So what you'll see is all of these designs that were not, that were started, but not fully accepted and confirmed. So you can see what everyone's working on all the time and you can filter out everything here um, just to look at what you need to, but you'll get this information with their email and their name. And so they can, they can purchase this and then send you, hey, we finished our designs, we're ready to go. And then you can log in and see all their designs. So you can open this in the designer and you're in administrator mode. So autosave is off, but if you if they left you a note like, hey, we're having trouble changing the name or we're not sure what time the wedding is gonna be yet, we'll confirm that later. And then they confirmed it. So then you can go up here and you're like, oh, they changed it to five o'clock. You can make the change and then you can click confirm. So you still have full access to open that on the designer, make any changes that you need to, um, reload things if you've made any changes, if you've saved anything, um, et cetera. So just really, really cool. It'll tell you how many pieces are there. And then this is the magic. So you just click generate projects files. And I think this is where, when you're thinking about all those elements, if you purchase elements and you have the license to reprint them from a commercial perspective, if you're still the one doing the printing, then you'll be able to still use those designs under that license. If you are allowing the client, if you're gonna then send over the files to them to print, then you might not have access to those without purchasing an extended license. So you might wanna use fewer elements, um, use elements that you painted or drew yourself, et cetera. Um, so in the time that I was talking, this was real time, we completed the generation of the file and were able to download it. So then it's got all the information that you need here and you can just click open. And the, the biggest thing is this doesn't look like a whole lot. I have communicated to the team at Antigro how I need my design files done. So I need them, you know, 0.25 bigger with a bleed, no trim marks. I need them on the exact, you know, final size plus the bleed uh, PDF. And so that's what it looks like here. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but if you need it on an eight and a half by 11 with trim marks, if you need it two up on an eight and a half by 11 or four up on an 11 by 17 with trim marks centered in the middle of the page, um, that's how the files will come to you. So you get to select how your digital files are going to come to you. Mine don't look like a whole lot because that's how I need them for my printer. Um, but it's going to come in that PDF, absolutely ready to print. Everything is going to be outlined um, and ready to go. And so I think that's where the magic is here is that your client has the power to design everything. And then you still have the power to go in and edit things, clean it up a little bit. If there's something wrong with it, you have that customer service level that you might need. Um, and then in the time that I was talking, you know, that took 25 seconds to generate those files. And now those files are completely ready to print. So I think this is really powerful and creates so many opportunities for you to send this out to your clients. So kind of what that process would look like is sell your client the listing. They can go on and design their pieces and then you can print them for them or send them digital download files if that's what you're selling. Otherwise, you can actually just link people to this. They can create their designs, submit them to you, and then you can send them an invoice and say, oh, okay, you need a hundred, you know, you select an RSVP card, an invitation, a details card, you know, you can add on things if you want, like, hey, I have an envelope liner that I can add on to this, envelope printing, et cetera. Um, and most of those files that are editable 
are going to be fully filled out for you already. The client's going to have full control over that. And so you don't need to really do a lot of design work here. You just need to be running your customer service and marketing for this. So there's going to be a link in the description where you can set up a call with them to really talk about your needs and get started on putting some of those templates in place. Um, based on how many templates you want to start with, they will come up with kind of an in initial deposit amount, which will get them to be able to create all of those. Um, and then the way that the pricing goes is basically you'll have this bucket in your account, like available tokens here, and each print ready file costs a certain amount. So uh, for instance, we mentioned like an A6 costs $2.40, $2.50. $2 so not too crazy, but each print ready file is going to have a certain amount. So you'll, you'll pay a little bit for the annotation, a little bit for the RSVP card, a little bit for the details card, et cetera. Um, and that will all kind of come out of your tokens balance. And if you use my link, you'll get a hundred dollars credit in your initial balance. So that can get you started. So definitely set up a call with them. If you're interested in doing template sales for your stationery. I think this is so cool. And you can decide whether you want to provide these as digital files for them to print or provide them, um, pr fully printed or both options for your clients. Um, so I love that you don't really have to do any of the designing. You can leave that up to the client and then you still have the ability to control the files and control how everything comes together if you want. So let me know what questions you have and what I can film in future videos to show you a little bit more of the system um, and set up a call with them using my link to get your $100 of free credit on your account when you start it. Thanks everybody.